FNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Just coming in after Tommy Jr.'s show, the, uh, the market kickoff. Great show. We've got our 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow's up 14 points at 33,075. Really important to get above the 33,150s by, to, by tomorrow at the latest. We've got the Fed coming up. Who knows what's going to happen? In the meantime, so far, so good. We're looking at the S&P also coming back from an earlier down move, sharp move. It's up 13 at 41.68. This needs to get to the 41.82 area. And it needs to do it fairly soon and hold the QQQ. Now, this is really interesting. The QQQ, the index 100 trading vehicle at the high of the day, up $1.44 at 320. What's really important about this, you see the candle from yesterday. You see if I check the left side, right side price time match. I'll do that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. The low of about the 14th of March at 317. We went to a low yesterday at 309.65. The technicals there. We're just a tad better in the MACD, not so in the stochastic, but there was a nice W formation in the on-balance volume. And you had a couple of uh, areas in the NDX 100 sectors that were actually acting very well, like the semiconductors. Let's go to the IWM. The IWM, the Russell 2187.50, up about 60 cents, needs to get to the 190 level where the uh, pink uh, 14 period moving, sorry, nine period moving averages, gold. Now, this is going to be very important. Gold got smacked yesterday, went under the 200 period moving average. Now, that was our target, the 1865 level. It went below it to about 1850, and now it's trading at 1870, up six points. This is the start of trying to form, formulate some kind of a, a support level. If you're looking at crude oil, Crude oil is in this trading band. It's um, it's about 40 cents low at 104. It's just stuck in a range, but it's a range that's in the higher level in the hundreds, low on hundreds. And if you're looking at the TLT, aye, aye, aye. TLT finally has a move to the upside, $1.75 at 118.95. The low that was made yesterday, that's going to be really important because if we start to trade under, under 116 in the next two, three days, that's just not going to be a good sign. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. There's a ton to talk about because this is exactly the pivotal moment where there should be a pretty decent attempt at a rally that's just sustainable, not just a one-day spike to the upside and fading. I'll be back in a moment. Hope you can say, check out the opening call, my dating newsletter.